Hello guys, this is a quick update on the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. The biggest football competition has started and let's check out what happened around the beautiful tournament. But before we go any further, if this is your first time watching our video, please like, comment, share the video and please hit the subscribe button. I'm your host Nippun and let's get on with the show. Inter Milan goalkeeper Andre Onana was reportedly dropped by Cameroon for their crucial World Cup clash against Serbia for refusing to change his style. Reports quickly emerged of a falling out with manager Rigobert Song. Fabrizio Romano reported that Song wanted Onana to refer to a more traditional style of goalkeeping and Onana said that he couldn't do that. Onana is an extremely modern goalkeeper having played at Barcelona and AX before joining Inter on a free transfer over the summer. During the opening defeat to Switzerland, Onana had 61 touches, more than any goalkeeper at this World Cup. His heat map showed some touches practically at the halfway line. For Portuguese friends, Hitch hiked through 15 countries over 50 days to get to Qatar 2022. They embarked on a journey of 8,000 kilometers, hitchhiking through 15 countries over 50 days. As meticulously planned, the four Portuguese friends Francisco Albuquerque, Bruno Carvello, Duarte Delgado and Daniel Estima got there in time to see Cristiano Ronaldo and company make their FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 debut against Ghana. Their long journey was worth it. Portugal edged a five-goal thriller. They crossed through places like Spain, France, Monaco, Italy, Croatia, Montenegro, Albania, Kosovo, North Macedonia, Bulgaria, Turkey, Jordan and Saudi Arabia. It was in the latter that they enjoyed one of the biggest surprises of their entire adventure. Now they hope Ronaldo and teammates can heighten their fantasy adventure by conquering the competition. Lionel Messi has been warned to watch his back by world super middleweight boxing champion Canelo Alvarez. It came after the Argentina superstar flicked a Mexico shirt on the floor with his feet while taking off his boots in the changing room after their 2-0 win over Mexico in the group stages of the World Cup in Qatar. Outraged by what he saw in a video of Argentina's celebration on social media, Canelo took to Twitter to say, I saw Messi cleaning the floor with our jersey and flag. He should ask God that I don't find him. Alvarez's overreaction has been laughed at by fans of both countries with Messi just gently flicking the shirt aside with his foot as he begins removing his boots after the game. A riot broke out on the streets of Brussels during the World Cup clash between Belgium and Morocco. Cops blasted water cannons and fired tear gas as rampaging football fans chucked fireworks, flipped cars and set fire to scooters. Around 100 riot cops were scrambled to the chaos in the capital during the game which ended with a 0-2 defeat for Belgium in Qatar. Shocking footage showed fires burning in the middle of the road and raging fans smashing the windows of a red car and driving it through the street before flipping it. Disturbances also broke out in the centre of Rotterdam, Netherlands when around 500 supporters threw fireworks and glass at police. Riot police have also been deployed on the streets of Amsterdam after around 500 football supporters let off fireworks and torched a car 
near Mercer to Plain in the Dutch city. But before we go, with so many crazy upsets in the World Cup, which underdogs team will go far in the tournament? Please hit the subscribe button and leave your answers at the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching our video. Until next time, do take care.